We know South Florida's real estate market is scarce and expensive. Uh, developers are also struggling to find land for potential redevelopment. But one old mobile home community in Miami is giving new hope for one development group. Here's Local 10's House Savella. This area is surrounded by growth. You've got Wynwood, you've got Midtown, you've got West Little River. And so it's no surprise that this development is being proposed. What is surprising is that residents here did not know. A mobile home community right smack in a changing Miami. <laughs> Some residents of Sor Miami have been living here for years. 17 for Juan Aguilar. Sí, una sorpresa. Juan and his neighbor, Gloria Rivero, no, no sabemos que... Both tell us they're surprised to hear about the development, had no clue this was happening. The massive project is between 79th and 83rd Streets, between Northwest First Place and Miami Court. The plan calls for a mixed-used housing special district, about 22 acres of approximately 4,000 multifamily units, retail offices, a hotel, and a park, some buildings as high as 50 floors. The application to the county was just submitted. Sad for residents like Gloria, who say they're now paying 900 bucks a month for the space they use. Every place is in Miami is kind of expensive now. One calls it a grave situation, as the majority of those living here are low income, many retirees. In the submitted packet, we learned the developer does have a relocation plan where residents, it seems, would move into one of the new buildings. We definitely have a housing crisis. The mayor says the county's pumping money into the development of new affordable workforce housing, 32,000 units in the pipeline. And the land is so valuable, people are selling out, and we are working sometimes with the owners to work on a transition plan. Uh, some landlords are even willing to build housing that uh, people could come back to. The process is just the beginning, and it could be at least 18 months before this project goes before zoning, before planning. Again, you won't see construction for quite some time. Reporting from Northwest Miami-Dade, I'm Hatsavala, Local 10 News.